We're going to be doing a deep dive into two multifamily opportunities in the Cleveland market. Kyle and Jackie, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. Right now, I'm coming to you guys from my home. Uh, we're in the day and age of the social distancing, a la the coronavirus, but not to worry. Holton Wise, we have essential field staff on the ground in these houses doing all the things we need to do. We are still full systems ago. Uh, we made some slight changes with uh, non-essential sales and media staff working off-site, but everybody that needs to be on-site, unclogging toilets, renovating kitchens, changing out roofs, driveways, furnaces, hot water tanks, you name it, we are still all systems go. So if you're thinking about investing in real estate, you do not have to pause right now. As a matter of fact, I think the coronavirus and a lot of the things that are uh, happening, some of the economic fallout, I think that actually uh, makes a unique opportunity for investors to go in and grab some good deals. As a matter of fact, I built Holton Wise on the back end of the last recession. So when everyone is running away from uh, investing, I think it makes a lot of sense to get aggressive. As such, we have been offering a package right now. You can work with me just like Kyle and Jackie are working with me in this particular video. We are doing a package unlike anything we've ever done before. 10 properties for only $1,999. Now this is only this pricing. You're only going to see this during the coronavirus pandemic. Once you see me back in the Holton Wise TV studio analyzing properties, that means all the dust is settled and we are back to normal. As such, those prices are going back to normal. So if you want to take advantage of this 80% discount, or maybe it's like a 75%, I don't know, it's like 75 or 80% off. We normally charge 800 bones per property. So it's pretty goddamn cheap. That's the moral of the story. If you want to take advantage of this, you want to make sure you pick one of those packages up now. And here's the kicker. You don't necessarily have to buy 10 properties now. You don't have to analyze 10 properties now. You pick up the package now and you could bank them as long as you want. Some investors, they have me do one or two videos, then they pause. Some investors have been like, hey, James, dude, I just want to take advantage of this sale, but I'm not ready to invest for 18 months. That's cool, man. We bank them, we put them in your account and they do not expire. So whenever you're ready, you can come back to us and we'll do those videos, but you can pick them up now while they're cheap. So. Kyle and Jackie, though, they want to invest right now. They think right now there's some opportunity. Uh, we've already analyzed a few properties for them, uh, tried putting together some deals, but they didn't pan out. So we are back on the, on the horse again, back in the saddle. We got two more properties for you guys today, and let's jump right into the first one. 3859 West 140th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. This is a duplex priced at $125,000. Currently, we have two three-bed, one-bath units bringing in $800 a month and $650 a month. So $1,450 a month comes in out of this sucker. This thing was uh, listed by a realtor from a company called The Right Choice Kirch. Realty. Uh, this would be the first time I've ever uh, heard of this company, so I, I, I can't give any background on what it is they specialize in. But uh, seeing as it's the first time I've ever dealt with them, I, I'm, you know, I can almost guarantee they don't specialize in rental properties in the Cleveland market because, you know, Holton Wise, we're the biggest show in town. So if uh, you're trying to move rental inventory in Cleveland and you're doing a decent volume, I know who you are. So uh, first time I've, uh, you know work with these folks. Maybe they're a new company. Maybe they deal in residential real estate mostly, but uh, they listed this property for 125 K. Now they haven't, uh, you know, they haven't really provided us any pictures and it could be because they're not used to dealing with tenants and uh, getting into the property, especially right now during the coronavirus it could be an issue, right? We just got one photo here of the front yard and then essentially the same photo, they pulled it up from Google earth and, uh, you know, maybe they're not very tech savvy because, you know, typically when you got to use a Google Earth screenshot as a MLS photo, it's, it's nice to crop out the arrows and the uh, 
the, the little icons that show you that it's on Google Earth. But hey, uh, I guess I don't need to bust their balls. Uh, as far as what they said about the property, guys, this is a nice two-family opportunity. Tenants would prefer to stay, sign lease, no leases present. No leases presently in place. Both the first floor and upstairs units each have three bedrooms, one bath, living room, dining room, and kitchen each unit. The owners have spent over $60,000 updating this home over the last 16 years, including the roof and gutters, new garage, 2006, windows, 2004, new lower bath, 2005, back porches up and down, 2007, carpet, 2019, plumbing updates in 2012. This is a very nice location with easy access to I-77 and I-480. Now let's talk about um, let's talk about this location, right? You know, this is what's called the Cam's Corner neighborhood, okay? And this is pretty much a B-class neighborhood, right? Now, when I do like the real-time MLS feeds and you see the ultimate guide, a lot of the properties in this particular little pocket will show up as C-class because the majority of the zip code is C-class. But this little tiny pocket, you know, you actually, if you go on a map and you actually see, it's called Cam's Corners, right? This actual intersection, that is the heart, okay? That is where things are popping. There's a ton of nightlife. There's a, a lot of good stuff happening. And for a long, long time, I believe they lifted it, but for a very, very long time, there was a city ordinance in place where all Cleveland police officers and all Cleveland firefighters, they had to actually live in the city of Cleveland itself. If you want to be a Cleveland cop or a Cleveland firefighter, you had to have a residence in the city of Cleveland. You couldn't move to the suburbs. Uh, so the majority of those folks, they all you know, congregated towards this area, this little Clams Corner neighborhood. So it's a nice area uh, of increased prices, of increased rental demand. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got a couple of homes in my personal portfolio over there and they rent for a ton of money, dude. We have like a, a five bedroom home over in this neighborhood that we rent that thing for $1,500 a month. And then we got another three bedroom that we rent for about $1,200 a month. So just a very high demand little area. But again, most of the time you're going to see this stuff show up as a C class because as soon as you start going east, you know, as a matter of fact, uh, you know, this property, it's on West 120th. The next property I have for you, it's actually a C class duplex and it's uh, or this, I'm sorry. This property is on West 140th. The next one is on West 120th, 20 streets to the east, and that is a C class. So, you know, that's how quickly it could change. So that's why this little pocket, it's like a little niche inside the greater neighborhood. Total B class, okay? Now, what does it look like if you pick this thing up, right? Of that 1450, you're going to bring home. I mean, are you going to bring it home, right? You're not actually going to bring it home. You're scheduled to, to, to bring in gross revenue of fourteen fifty a month. But what are you actually going to bring home is what I'm trying to say. Well, we're going to have to deduct 72 for repairs and maintenance, 72 for vacancy and non-payment. Even though it's a low-risk neighborhood, you still got to factor that in. Capital expenditure, 72. You know, they gave us... Uh, you know, some updates, a nice list of updates, but you know, it's not necessarily like, they're not necessarily like updated, right? I mean, you're talking about over the last 16 years. It's like, does that mean the, the actual roof itself is 16 years old? Because just so everybody knows, roofs are only going to last 30 years. So don't try to pitch, if you're a realtor, don't try to pitch me that it, it's a new updated roof when you're more than halfway through its life expectancy. And on a big old property like this, that's going to be about $7,000, right? So we're going to factor that stuff in. Taxes 208, insurance 100. In the show notes below, everybody watching this show, Kyle, Jackie, everybody else out there, I want you to click the link in the show notes below. Let us give you guys a quote on any rental properties you own. We are, uh, you know, we are appointed with several insurance firms. We own a farmer's office. We're coast to coast. And all we do is we handle a landlord insurance policies. So all we do is try to beat those uh, premiums down for you guys. We understand what riders we could remove and things that we can do to keep you secure as a, as a landlord, keep you safe uh, from major liability. But, you know, just get rid of all that crap that's just pounding your premium up that you don't need as a landlord. We're very familiar with this type of stuff. So coast to coast, if you have rental properties, you want to make some more money, go ahead. Just click that link below. Water sewer should be 150, lawn care 44, PM 145. So of that 1450, I anticipate on average. Now it's not every month, right? Not every month. Okay. It's not going to look like this every month. You know, it's going to be a bunch of zeros and then there's going to be big, you know, expenses, right? Like that roof right? For the next, if it's 16 years old, for the next 14 years, you're going to spend probably $0 on that roof, but then boom, 
they're going to get hit with a $7,000 bill, right? That's what we're accounting for. So the, the purpose of this chart is to show you what the property should produce, what similar properties like this produce over the long term, you know, stretch that over your portfolio. You could buy a couple deals and they could be the exact same property. And you just might have worse luck with one than the other. You know, it's a business with an unlimited amount of variables, but you do a bunch of properties over the long haul they should eventually, you should start to see data look similar to this, right? So I anticipate 863 on average going out the door, leaving you with an NOI of 587. Leads me back to price. What do I think you got to pay for this thing? They got it listed at 125. I think um, we could probably go in there and pick it up for $115,000. Now, if we picked it up at 115,000 as it sits at the 6-1 cap, after you uh, finance it out, right, you'll only need 28000 or so to go into the sucker. So it would be a 9.3% cash on cash return. So solid deal, safe neighborhood, and there is a little bit of additional meat on the bone. The cool thing here is we have two three-bed, one-bath units. Now, in this particular neighborhood, the rents are super high, man. Remember, like I said, I got a single-family home. It's got uh, $1,500 of rent coming in. Then I got another one in the same neighborhood bringing in 1200 Do We can get a lot more rent. It's like six fifty. They're giving it away. The market rent for both of these units being three bed, one bath is actually eight fifty a month. Okay. So we could be bringing in $250 a month more than what we are currently bringing in. Now, does it make sense to like immediately evict those tenants or give them notice? Probably not. Like the $800 a month tenant, you probably just want to you know, renew that person's lease, let them ride at 800. And then when they eventually turn themselves out, because we don't want to create artificial term, when they eventually turn themselves out, you'll have to do a nice unit term, probably some updates, you know, again, their laundry list of updates, they're not really updates anymore. They're old, right? Like, uh, what was it here? We got like, uh, the, you know, I see some stuff from like, you know, 10, 11, 12 years ago, right? So if like, we got like an updated you know, if they're thinking like a kitchen or something like that's updated, but it's like 15 years old, it's not really updated, right? We got to do it again. But that's why we're going to try to keep that person in there. But when the natural turnover does occur, you know, we're going to bang it out, do some really nice stuff, and then we'll get you 850. Same thing with the 650 person. You know, perhaps we just go up like 50 bucks, 100 bucks, something like that. Or maybe we let them coast at 650 for one year after we understand that they're a halfway decent tenant. Then we go from there. But eventually, the end game here is going to be 850, 850 for each of these units so if we could pick it up at 125 um i'm sorry it's listed at 125 if we could pick it up at 115 rather that would be perfect for you guys that would be the 9.3 percent cap before we add in that additional rent if you have to bid a little bit higher than that to secure this property i think you should i know you guys are pre-approved up to 120 if i were you i'd be very comfortable paying up to that 120,000 for this particular property now I know you guys want to stay in the B class. Um, and, you know, this is a prime example of what you can get. But with your budget being 120 and you guys wanting some multifamily and stuff, uh, there is not a lot in your price range. So what I did is I pulled up a C class listing that I think might work for you. Like I said, it's 20 streets east of this. So let's jump to a word from the sponsors of today's show. And then we'll get into the numbers on that property. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by 
ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Jackie Kyle, welcome back. Now, the next property, 3340 West 120th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. This is what I'm talking about earlier with uh, the fact that the majority of this 44111 zip code, the majority of it is going to be C-class, right? That small little cams corner pocket, the farther, the further away from the cams corner location itself you go, you know, the, the more it's going to get right into C-class. So when you're super, super close, you'll get the nicer tenant base and you'll get the higher rents. But the majority of that zip code is going to be similar to this, uh, what you're going to experience with this particular property. Now, what we have... We have one unit being a 2-1, which is currently rented for $675. The other unit is a 4-1, okay? That 4-1, it is currently vacant, but it, it's fairly close to being rent ready. And since it's so big, because what it is, they finished off the third floor for you, we could still get a ton of rent out of that sucker. We could be bringing in 800 bones a month. And that is not necessarily uh, because of the location, right? Don't think a lot of duplexes here are going to pull in 800 bucks a month. No, no, no. You're only getting the 800 because of the additional two bedrooms, right? The additional third floor. So this is kind of a unique property because a lot of these properties don't have finished third floors and it's actually cost prohibitive to finish them out, right? But if you can, uh, you know, score yourself one that somebody already did that for you, dude, you definitely got to do it, right? So fourteen seventy five a month is what could come in out of this. Now, of that fourteen seventy five a month, what is it going to look like? Well, I anticipate us spending approximately eight hundred and six dollars a month. Again, this is an average, okay? Everything that we've already talked about. This is an average. It's not going to be every single month. And you know, your numbers, uh, you know, they they may be up or down. And you know what? We may end up with more vacancy and more turnovers out of this particular asset than we will out of the other asset because the other asset's in a higher neighborhood class. Now, I don't consider C-class investing like this to be super risky. I still consider it to be fairly low risk. Low risk. I know you guys, you know, you're you're working with your parents, and some of you guys are living abroad, but nobody's in Ohio. Right, I think we got some folks in California and then some other folks living abroad uh, of your little group there uh, that's you know pulling resources together and investing, right? So, you guys are looking for pretty low risk stuff. I don't think you need to be like ultra concerned, um, but if you if you definitely want to stick to that B class, the first property is the one to go with. Um, definitely, that one is perfect right in your wheelhouse, but if you're finding we're not able to produce enough inventory for you in your budget. You want to maybe either pause on the next set of videos till you get a little bit higher budget or look into something like this C-class property, right? So this should bring home 669. And if you can pick it up for 90,000, I think that would be perfect, right? It's currently listed for 93,000. Who listed this sucker? Uh, Howard Hanna listed this thing, 93000 Now, if you can get it for ninety, that'd be great. But truth be told, with the amount of rent that could come into this, it, you, may up in a, you may end up in a bidding war, right? So you may have to go up to list price. But, you know, I'm hoping maybe we can go and get it for ninety. But, you know, if you got to pay list, you got to pay list, right? So if you do pick it up for ninety, though, it'd be a cap, a nine cap. Because I don't really think we need to do much to the vacant unit, right? I mean, the vacant unit looks pretty good. Now, don't get me wrong. Like when I get my team in there, I'm sure they might find, you know, some stuff that we can't really see in the photos. But from what I'm looking in the photos, man, it's a perfect renovated unit, dude. You got the, the gray walls, the white trim, everything is clean, everything is fresh. You know, maybe we find some stuff. Maybe there's not enough smoke detectors or, you know, this or that, or maybe windows don't stay open or, or things of that nature. So I'm sure we'll always find something. But more or less, I don't anticipate many, if any, uh, you know, major repairs needing to happen to bring in that $800 a month. So nine cap, right? You go ahead and finance the sucker. You're only into the deal for 22,200 plus whatever little minute um, rehab items that uh, either get picked up by the inspection, the general home inspection, or by my team when they do the rent uh, ready safety check, right? We can't rent a unit if we're, if we don't have the appropriate amount of smoke detectors, right? We can't rent a unit if you have to stick a stick in a window uh, to keep the window open, just small little things like that, right? If there's like a little leaking pipe somewhere, right? These things will all be found out for us, but you know, nothing major, dude. We're talking little tic-tac stuff, right? So assuming that stuff is, you know, negligible, right? 
this could be a 20.53% cash on cash return for you guys. Because again, you're only going to need about $22,000 or so into the deal. The bank will finance the rest. So if uh, you know you like the numbers better on this one, uh, maybe we should explore more C-class properties. But truth be told, this will have a tenant base that is probably going to be more transient than the previous property's tenant base. Uh, you know, if you own this property for the long term, I would say if you bought both of these particular properties, I would say the one on 120th uh, is going to see more evictions and more issues with rent payments than the one on one West 140th would. So those are things to factor in. Um, I can't exactly quantify it because, I mean, you know, it's not like we have like a, you know, a super super classy like rich people suburb and then just like the total ghetto right i mean these are fairly close together and i don't want to to make you afraid uh, of the c-class neighborhood because you know a majority of our portfolios in, in in neighborhoods like this and this neighborhood itself i just want you to know that you know the risk factor it is uh, you know these two neighborhoods are not exactly equal they're close but they're not exactly equal and you know our goal here is transparency so i want you to be cognizant of that when you're looking at this because you know if you're just comparing them apples to apples, you'd be like, oh, dude, this is a 20% cash on cash. This is the better property. Not necessarily. You might run into more issues uh, that will you know, affect your actual real life return over the next several years, right? So with all that said, though, I think both are solid investments. And uh, if you could swing it, I would try to pick them up you know, pick both of them up, but I don't know if that's going to be in the cards for you guys at this moment. I know we got the 120 cap. Um, so up to you guys, which one you pick, um, but definitely the one on 140th falls in line with everything you guys have told me you want, right? So unless you're really enticed by the numbers of the C-class property, that B-class property more or less checks every box that you two have laid out for me. And that would probably be the perfect addition to your portfolio. But again, I think this one is solid too. So it's up to you guys. Let us know what you want to do. You know, you see, you've seen this video in the private link that my team has sent you. Let us know if you'd like to write up offers. Everybody else who's watching this, you're not watching this when Kyle and Jackie are watching it. You're watching it probably two, three months down the road. I don't release things on Holton Wise TV until after the dust has settled and these deals are no longer available. Can't have Kyle and Jackie paying me to analyze properties for them, putting it on Holton Wise TV and having a bunch of you cheapskates coming in and snaking their deals for out from under them. So if you want me to do this for you, like I said at the top of the show, you're going to want to get your own package. Go to holtonwise.com, property search for sale tab, click the MLS search analysis show and order yourself a package. Again, we got the sale during the COVID thing. And then other investors out there, maybe you don't need all this analytics. You don't need uh, to work this close with us. You just want to browse our inventory because Holton Wise, we are the number one seller of rental properties. Go to the property search for sale tab again. And instead of the MLS search analysis show, click the investment properties for sale show. And make sure you're subscribed to our mailing list every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We send out videos to you right to your inbox, 1 o'clock, uh, with properties that we are selling. It has full video tours, drone footage, the whole nine. And uh, we'll be able to fill, fill, field your bids right then and there. But know that you're probably going to be in a bidding war because, again, number one seller of rentals in the, in the Cleveland market. So we have investors from worldwide trying to bid on these properties. So you got to act quick, right? So if we send out the email at 1 o'clock, you know, we probably have five to six, seven, eight, nine, ten offers by five o'clock that day. Most properties sell the same day we email them out. So you got to be quick. So those are the two ways you can buy from us, right? You can browse our inventory, make bids right there. A couple clicks to the mouse, you're good to go. We'll manage everything for you. Or you can contract to have me work for you on your behalf, find you properties, analyze properties. Doesn't matter who's selling them. You tell me about a property, I will give you my honest take, and then we will represent you in the sale. And then after that closes, we'll also still be able to take on the property management for you. More info on our property management is going to be at hopewise.com. Click our property management fact. That's all I've got for y'all today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, 
as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.